Now that we have the blower wheel exposed, I'm going to show you four techniques we would use to remove it when it sees to the motor. As you can see, I've locked the blower wheel using a handle to a hammer, and the first technique we're going to do is simply to chisel the blower out. To do this process, you would chisel around the center of the blower wheel until it is completely broken free from the drive shaft of the motor. I typically don't recommend this technique as it can be quite tedious and loud with all the hammering and chiseling. Next, we're going to use a drill, assuming that it's the only tool you have for removal. Right off the bat, you can see that the blower wheel wants to turn with the drill, and this is my fault because I did not have my foot securely on the handle to the hammer, allowing the blower wheel to turn. Having secured the handle back in place and firmly placing my foot on top of it, I will continue to drill small holes just outside the center of the blower wheel. To complete this process, you would drill small holes all the way around the center of the blower and then bring the holes together using the bit making one universal hole and allowing you to slide the blower out for removal. 